the aliens attack Don't call the army And when the sun turns black Don't call your mummy And in your darkest hours Don't consult a swami Call the man whose punches pack The power of a tsunami Transmigulation? Of 
course I have. I've had many times when there was usually from a ship or from the palace transmogulation pad, and vice versa. So yeah, sure. But not to the surface of an open planet. Just stay close to me, Daphne, and try not to trip up. Um, Daphne, I, I, I thought you worked out, you know, to stay in shape. I take exercise pills. And those work? Well... They do keep my figure. When we get back to the isotope, the first thing I'm doing is putting you on a strict exercise regimen. Space is man country, princess. I need to make sure you keep up. Oh, Oliver. Sweet Oliver. Thank you so much for looking out for little old me. Don't get your suntan lotion in a bunch, princess. I just want to make sure that you are up to the challenge. Up to the challenge? Of following you around like an idiot? Oh yeah, I've got that under control. Look, let's just find the source of the signal and finish up here. Then we can transmogulate back to the isotope and be on our way. Principles of self-control and commitment are the things that will make you a more focused individual, more aware of their surroundings, more keenly aware, and like developing a sixth sense so you'll know everything that goes on around you. Don't you agree, Princess? Princess? Daphne? Princess Daphne! It's just in candy. This is the voice of the mysterious one. You are now under our control. As of this moment, your will is no longer your own. You will do as you are commanded, and you will not be able to resist. USS Isotope, Galactic Space Cruiser. Captain Isotope, come in, please. This is Captain Isotope. I read you. Have you found the source of the alien signal yet? Not yet. We're in the vicinity, but there are no signs of sentient life so far. Roger that. Check in in two hours with your status, please. Yes, General. And one more thing. General? Next mission. Take your science officer with you, please. Yes, ma'am, I understand. 
No, General, you look stunning in a bikini. Isotope out. Roger, Dad. Isotope out. What was that all about? Princess! Daphne! Princess, where are you? Hello? You must be what we're here to find. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes! Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, work it for me, baby. Love the camera. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah, of course, I can get you the cover of a magazine, baby. I've got connections. This is perfect. Oh, wait, I can't report it yet. I have to find Daphne. Seems like I'm always trying to find the princess. Back to the ship. Agreed. Stand by. Um, are you okay there, Princess? Yes. I was just exercising. Uh, okay, uh, why don't you go back to your cabin and rest? I need to meet with the general now. I will comply. Mysterious one. I am Daphne, Princess of Space. You are a mysterious one. I am the Princess of Space. You cannot break free of our power.
still sending out a signal, though. Judas H. Priestess is a mystery. You want to take Professor Maison down to take a look at it? Professor? I thought he was a doctor. Pretty sure he's a professor. Okay. Uh, where is he? Wandered off a little while ago. Finally stopped snoring on me. I'm not always going to be on board. You're going to have to get him to behave more military. I thought he was military. I'm not even sure he's sane. Well, you know, General, I never thanked you for assigning him to the ship. No thanks necessary, son. Oh, I wasn't going to thank you. I just wanted to point out that I never had. This, this is, is the, the voice, voice of the mysterious, mysterious one. one. You, you will, will kill, kill the leader of this vessel. You will kill the leader of this vessel. No. You will kill the leader. people seeing these things. You know, I didn't know you felt like that about me. I need to go now. I need to cleanse my oral cavity a lot. That's still not a no. This is the voice of the mysterious one. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Kill them all! I'm pretty sure that she's been taken over by some alien force. I mean, she's acting weird, even for her. What'd you bring her up on the ship for? I wanted Dr. Maison to sedate her and give her a complete physical. <laughs> Better have me there when he examines her. Ah, uh, his, uh, general perviness. You noticed. Not as stupid as you look. Uh... Thank you. Daphne! We are the mysterious ones. And we have come to take this vessel. Who in the blue blazes are the mysterious ones? We are from a nearby galactic cluster. Our ship has left us marooned for many years on the planet below. Wait. That, that alien device we found on the planet, that's your vessel? Yes. We ran out of gasoline. <laughs> Wait a minute. Your vessel flies on gasoline? Gasoline? We get very good mileage, normally. Now we are here to kill you and take over your ship. Princess. Daphne. It's me, Oliver. If there's any of that girl that I used to know still in there, please come out. Daphne is under our control. Nice job, Professor. Women don't usually respond to that. I like it here. Oh my goodness! It's like a family of muskrats has been living in my mouth! Hey, I still got it. Daphne, is that you? Oh! It's her. It's her. What is this, an intervention or something? The aliens have left 
thank goodness for that. I need to go brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> attack don't, don't call, call the, the army. army and when the sun turns black don't call your mommy in your most desperate hour don't consult a swami call a man whose punch is packed up power and that's an army A good fight on the side of the right. All of those who oppose feel the brunt of his might. He's a man of the hour. Of great intellect and power. A simple flex of his brow makes his enemies cower.